Valve therapy verifies the physician order and scans the chart for any relevant information. Follow standard precautions including hand washing. In any therapy, check the patient's ID tag. Obtains and assembles the equipment. Introduces self and explains the procedure. Hello, Delavan. My name is Dave Zovac. I'm a respiratory therapist. I'm here to teach you about using a flutter. Have you ever used one of those before? No. Okay, this is a device that as you exhale through it, it's going to vibrate and shake secretions in your lungs hopefully to help move those out to the point that you can cough them out better. I'll be ready with you in just a few seconds. Positions the patient properly. If I want to set you up just a little bit higher so that you're more sitting, sitting upright. Assesses the patient prior to therapy. Before I start, I'd like to uh, take your pulse and listen to your breath sounds. Okay, could I have you lean forward? I'd like to listen to your lungs. Taking a deep breath in. And another one. Okay, now you can lean back. Thank you. Instructs the patient on flutter valve therapy. Okay, what this is is a little device, kind of looks like a pipe. And what you're going to be doing is taking a little bit larger than a normal tidal breath, like you're now breathing, but just a little bit bigger. And you're going to put this in your mouth and exhale or blow out with a little bit of force, not overly hard, not soft. And as you blow out, I want you to tip this up and down, and you'll notice the vibrations will change as you tip it. And what we want you to do is find that point that you have the fastest and best vibrations. Okay. So breath in, blow out, tip it till you get the fastest, best vibrations, and then you'll take another breath. And we'll do about 10 of those in a row. Okay. So would you hold on to that? Okay. Take a breath in, put it in your mouth. Okay. You need to blow out a little bit harder on the next breath. Take a breath in again, you can, yep, and put it in. Right about there. Good. Another breath in. And a little harder on the blowing out again. Good. Take another one. Okay. You've done ten of those now. Do you notice how that's shaking your lungs with each breath? Okay. Now, that you've done 10, I want you to do a couple uh, of those huff coughs, and that's where you're going to take a breath in through your nose, pause a second, and then huff it out. Not cough, but huff like this. <coughs> okay? Try that for me. Pause, huff. Okay, again, a little bit stronger on the exhaling. <coughs> Excellent, excellent, good. Okay, now we're uh, going to, uh, after you've done 10 to 20 of them and huff coughed, that'll be sufficient. If you need to, you can repeat that several times. But that's uh, how you use the flutter. Then uh, when you're done, after each session, you do this two to three times a day. What I want you to do will be to take this apart and you can wash this in a little soap water and let it dry in between each therapy and that way you won't have bacteria growth and contaminate your lungs with other bacteria, okay? okay. Good. Any questions? Okay. Assists you. and coaches the patient during the therapy, has periodically the patient cough, monitors the therapy, monitors the patient during the therapy, Assesses the patient following the therapy. Okay, I'm going to take a listen again to your lungs. Big breath in. 
Oh, okay, you can lean back. Ensures the patient is safe and comfortable. You feeling okay? Yes. Good. Uh, anything else I can do for you? No. Okay. Cleans up. I'm going to leave this uh, right here. In fact, I'm going to put the uh, flutter in the bag here. And there's a little instruction booklet that goes along in case uh, you don't remember everything I told you. Mm -hmm. Leave it right here at your bedside. Documents the procedure in the patient's chart. Okay. Thank you very much.